Inspirators, it's Inspiring Vanessa here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be bringing back a video that I haven't been doing very long on this channel and it's sort of like a series that I've been doing and that is story time videos. I don't feel like that many people do them anymore on YouTube but I decided to do or plan some more for you guys so please do subscribe to my channel before I get into the video because today I'm going to be talking about something that is quite a big issue nowadays especially that everyone does everything online and it is basically my cyberbullying story and I wanted to share it to you guys not for sympathy and not to make you guys feel sad for me but to make sure that you guys know that it is important that you that we speak about these topics and it is important that obviously you know that you can obviously overcome it so without further ado let's get straight into the video so it all started when my head teacher found out I was doing motivational speaking and like doing YouTube and stuff so she said why don't you do an assembly in front of the whole entire school which was basically I was in year five but no I was in year six actually and that was sort of a good thing because if, I feel like if I there were older people who were there who were still children I would feel a bit more nervous but I was still nervous anyways because sometimes you know how younger children can be they just giggle at everything and obviously I was a bit scared because I'm more comfortable with speaking in front of adults and children back then so it was a new thing for me to sort of discover about myself but I did the assembly they played like one of my youtube videos a couple of giggles a couple of like um applauses but then after school when i came back or maybe during school when it was like during lunch time lots of people started to come up to me and they were just like oh vanessa i want to start a youtube channel and obviously i was really happy that day because i was really happy that i had like helped them and inspired them to do that and then obviously when i went home that everything sort of went downhill and my day didn't end up very nice so I went onto YouTube as you usually do, just to see how the views are going, to see how the subscriber count is going, and just to watch other people's YouTube videos. But that's just a guilty pleasure that I've had for a very long time, since I've always had YouTube as the app, watching several YouTubers and YouTube videos. But I went back and I found a notification, and it was a comment from someone who actually went to my school. And when I saw the comment, it just said some mean things. I'm obviously not going to mention the person and I'm obviously not going to say exactly what the comment was because I don't think that's exactly acceptable on YouTube and obviously he can do his own thing and whatever it is. But this particular student kept commenting horrible things on my channel and obviously that made me feel sad because I was so confused why people wouldn't enjoy my videos. and. I tried so 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 hard to perfect my videos and I still do to this very day and I so try so hard to perfect the videos and to make sure that anybody can like them and anybody can relate to them but there was only that student that never actually related to it. So the next day at school I didn't really make eye contact with the child because I didn't want him to find it obvious that I had read the comments that he put there but I went to school and then there was a new seating plan. And obviously the universe or the world just decided to have that certain student on my table along with some others, a couple of rude students. So then during school they would always start making jokes about like my YouTube name which is inspiring Vanessa just like oh you're not very inspiring are you or basically it's just me as a normal person and they're not saying that I'm an inspiring person or whatever that was and every single time I would come home I would just automatically just start crying and it would be really hard for me to tell my mum because I was really confused as to why they didn't like who I was as a person and obviously I tried so hard to be nice to everyone and make sure that they see me as a person as you guys on the on the tube or the channel or the inspirators and how you guys see me as and I really tried hard to make sure that everybody really liked me and that was the thing that sort of shifted for me during that sort of time because I started to realize that not everyone is going to like what you do and that's something that took me a while to understand because when I started getting even more comments I just got even more sadder and that means I didn't really want to film YouTube videos anymore I didn't 
or maybe I did but I didn't feel as excited to do the YouTube videos anymore because I thought that every single time I would do that people would comment down below and say something that was really mean and obviously I didn't take criticism that well obviously I know because I get more hate comments now that I know how to handle them and I know that not everybody's going to enjoy what you do and there are always going to be haters out there but what I had to understand through that journey was that if I keep letting that certain student or that certain person to keep making me feel sad and keep making me feel low and unworthy then that's the more that I would be giving up on you guys and thank goodness I did not give up on you guys because doing YouTube is one of the best things that I could probably do in my life and I love filming YouTube videos for you guys and just making you guys feel happy and I love running the Inspirators family because you guys are pretty much the family that we have here online and that's really really important that you guys like understand that because if I gave up YouTube I don't really know what I would be now I mean I still think I would be speaking but maybe that would have taken over my speaking career and obviously all these different things they bring up to a certain event in your life which means if I didn't overcome that I wouldn't be filming this YouTube video for you guys confessing that this has actually happened to me because I am a normal person and it's not just like I'm this person on YouTube that has lots of followers on Instagram or has lots of followers on YouTube and just lives a life like a perfect person because I'm not a perfect person and everybody goes through certain different things in their lives and obviously as I said I am a normal person it's not like that just because I'm a YouTuber that no one is allowed to be rude to me or that anyone's not allowed to unsupport me because at the end of the day I am still a child I still do mess around sometimes I still do stupid things on a daily basis like do or I'm really clumsy or I just do silly things that might annoy my mum a little bit sorry mum <laughs> but I am a child at the end of the day and that's what I had to understand that I can't put that much pressure on myself making people want to like me as a person and if you are currently going through cyberbullying or if you have been through it before and you're still finding it hard to spread your message of course or tell people what you love to do the best thing to do is to understand this is that people will like you and people will not like you but it may but you need to make sure whether those people do affect you because one thing that my mum said to me because when I do speaking I speak in front of a lot of people and she was saying that one person against like these 300 people who love you on stage and I had to see the comparison of that because I couldn't let one person ruin me giving out wisdom and giving out inspiration to these 300 people who I would be speaking in front of an audience of or the people who I just usually speak out on a regular basis and I had to understand the comparison between that so if you are like currently going through cyberbullying please do tell somebody because that's the best thing to do because otherwise it will get worse so tell your parents or tell a teacher at school but please don't tell your friends about it maybe tell them after you've told an adult about it because once you tell your friends they're going to feel pressure and once they feel pressure and you feel pressure you're basically caging yourself up even more and that's really not good for you because i really want all of you on this channel or all of the inspirators just to just be happy and to feel pressure free and just to feel free in general because if you guys keep caging it up it will eventually get worse and i don't want that to happen to you guys so please do tell a parent or a carer and please just tell an adult not a stranger obviously because that would be really weird but <laughs> Please do tell someone who you know and please do tell someone about it because that will make it better and that will make the situation better. But I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and me sort of opening up about my cyberbullying story for you guys. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to comment down below something that you would like to end in the world for an example. Bullying war racism sexism whatever it is please do comment down below those issues that you would like to change and why because if the, those things have happened to you then please do comment them down below because i would love to know and i will be replying back to the comments and the more comments i get obviously 
maybe I won't be able to reply to as much of them. So the best thing to do is to comment down below now. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to join the Inspirators family here on YouTube. And don't forget to click the little bell in the corner to get notified every single time I post a video. And obviously I'll see you guys next time. Bye!